Hello and it is the Legals and if you clicked on this video today it means you're looking for the top 5 fastest supercars in GTA and my friend you have clicked on the right video. We're going to be going through the top 5 top, fastest top speed supercars in GTA. I nearly butchered that but let's just go over it and we are starting off with the Grotty X80 Proto. A funky looking car, it's been around for a little while now for a few years, it's got that it's got a very weird looking back to it, hasn't it? With the spoiler going across. But nonetheless, a good looking car and a fast car it is as well. This car is coming in at 127.5 miles per hour. Mental. I will not be doing the kilometers now because I, I messed up with that last time. I'm not getting into it. We're doing miles per hour strictly on this video. And this car will also, also set you back 2.7 million dollars. Let's get on to the next one. So coming in at number four, we have the Overflood Entity XXR. Again, another great looking car. The brother car of the Entity XF, but this one is a lot faster than its brother car. This Entity comes in at 128 miles per hour very quick very quick top speed on this car and this car will also see you back at 2.3 million dollars a very expensive car a good looking car I will definitely buy one of these because I actually quite like this this is going to be ending up in my garage coming in at number three we have the Bravado Banshee 900R possibly one of the oldest cars in GTA history it has been around for some time now and a great looking car it is even in the purple it's a nice looking colour in that purple that that didn't make sense but it's, it's a good colour for that car but anyway this car comes in at 131 miles per hour 131 that is outrageous speed but it deserves it it deserves the respect it gets in this game it doesn't get enough I think it doesn't get enough and this car will set you back only 560,000 pounds. Not as much as I expected. It's worth a million, so not a bad price, and you get a lot of car for it. So why are you not buying it? Go get it. It's the top three fastest supercars in the game. Go get it. We are down to the last two, and someone corrected me on my pronunciation of this car last time because I absolutely butchered it. We have the Principi Divest 8. A very random name for this car. I don't know why they've named it that. Who knows? Love this car. I love the jet engines. Looks amazing. But this is the second fastest supercar in the game. Bear that in mind. And this car comes in at 131.75 miles per hour. This is mental speed we're getting to now. Just a little bit faster than the Banshee. But that little point extra goes a long way. My terrible driving, sorry, I loved at that. But anyway. This will set you back at 1.7, nearly 8 million dollars. Mental. A lot of money, but you get a lot of car. Definitely worth it in my opinion. Let's find out what's number one. And coming in at number one, and of course it is the Fista 811. An amazing looking car. It's beautiful. I see why it's the fastest in this game because it looks so amazing. It looks the part, you know what I mean? It's got a lovely spoiler across the back. It's nice and curved edges. It's just it's a lovely looking car. But anyway, the top speed. The top speed is 132.5 miles per hour. This is the fastest supercar in the game. It hits unreal speed and does go around the corner as well, but the checkpoints on the hit this game are rubbish. So again, that apologies for the rubbish, rubbish driving. But this car will set you back 1.1 million dollars. Not too expensive for the fastest supercar in the game. It's worth the money. I think it's another one that I need to look into to invest. So there you have it. There's the top five fastest cars in the game. I'm going to do not fast. Sorry, fastest supercars in the game. I'm going to do the top five fast sports cars in the game next. So keep an eye out. I hope you've enjoyed. If we've been illegals, and we'll see you in the next one. Good.